my pockets right now. What's in your pockets? Nigga, no pocket check me. You got me fucked up. <laughs> What's the deal, man? It's Taylor Game Time Dollar Sign Pushing the label. This is Montreality, you little old bitch. Get by being a teenager, I used to sell weed. I worked at Subway once, and then that was like for two days. And then I quit, and I, I never worked a job ever again. Uh, yeah, uh, I actually do enjoy reading books. I have a nice collection of books. And every time bitches come over, they're like, wow, you read? I'm like, yeah. Do you? <laughs> uh, in my previous lifetime, I think I was Jaco Pastorius. Because uh, my love for the bass guitar, uh, I'm, I'm nowhere as good as he was. He was a lot before me, and I, I was born, you know, probably like after after he died for sure. So I think I'm his reincarnation. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite, uh, I have two favorite cartoon characters, and those are Tom and Jerry, because uh, nobody can fuck with Tom and Jerry, man. That's the best show ever created. Check it out again if you uh, if you forgot. <laughs> My favorite video game had to be uh, either Mortal Kombat or Tekken, <laughs> you know? But uh, Tekken was a little more advanced, but uh, Mortal Kombat is more classic, you know? And uh, I fuck with that. Street Fighter was kind of, it was cool too, but Mortal Kombat was that shit, you know? <laughs> Flawless Yeah, it's definitely an anthem. It's definitely heartfelt. It was how I was feeling. And uh, Kendrick said, as soon as he heard, you know, my part on the song, it gave him a feeling. And then he put his part down, and I felt like it was like, he killed that verse. <laughs> For real. So I'm excited about that song. I'm excited about the people hearing it. He's incredible. <laughs> Straight up. That's all I can say, he's, the, he's like one of the best, for sure. Oh, you know, not, if not the best. I mean, you tell me. I would say, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I rage fucking hard. Yeah, um, we're doing our thing out here, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. Shout out to all the homies, DJ Mustard, YG400, Nipsey, Joe Moses, you feel me? All of us, we out here. And uh, it feels good to be a part of it, like I said. Push ain't the motherfucking label Taylor Gang or die. The worst uh, trip I ever had on drugs, I was at Coachella, this past Coachella, and I saw Outkast perform. And then I was on mushrooms, and it got so trippy. The fucking grass was moving and shit. And then I just had to like leave the concert real quick and then I went backstage and I saw uh, I saw Diddy back there and, and we were talking but I was like high as fuck so I didn't really want to like talk so I think I just walked away like in the middle of our conversation but you know we still uh, we're still straight and uh, it's all good <laughs> you ever been mind fucked before? I'm mind fucking you right now can you feel my dick fucking your mind? yeah <laughs> He didn't know, but uh, it was crazy. <laughs> the most romantic thing I've ever done, cook and fucking set up fucking candles and balloons and like fucking all that crazy shit one day on Valentine's Day. Roses and all that good shit when I had a girlfriend. 
ultimate fetish is to fucking get pulled over by a beautiful female cop and then end up fucking the shit out of her that same night. <laughs> I was gonna give you a ticket, but... The biggest lie that we're told? Uh... I don't know. What do you think? Oh, the biggest lie is that uh, you'll never change. I'm always stay the same. I'm gonna never change. Cause like everybody changes every day. My message to the youth is to stay positive, stay in school, don't do drugs. And um, she is Taylor gonna die. In the previous lifetime, I was like a, a cheetah or something like real, real wild, but still like just naturally decorated, you know what I mean? I definitely didn't have clothes on, but whatever I was just made me so much freakishly cool. I was a cheetah. <laughs>